Too many thoughts on my mind. I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. I don't need no help. I don't need opinions, so don't wait Yo, 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 what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Burgers Kicks, and you know, we're back here with another bot tutorial slash guide, you know, same thing. But you know, no one knows what to call them. I like to call them tutorials. Some people like to call them guides. So we'll call them both to make people happy. Uh, and this one is going to be on the AIO Bot V2, A and B V2, another Nike Bot V2, many different names for it. Uh, not to be confused with their actual Nike Bot. Uh, this is their Shopify foot sites and, you know, Special Supreme, Easy Supply, stuff like that. It's their all-in-one bot, but, you know, just the name of it is another Nike Bot. But that's why they refer to it as the AIO Bot. Instead of another Nike bot, since it's an all-in-one, AIO, all-in-one, you know. Firstly, let me, you know, get in here and say, if you plan to purchase this bot, I will leave a link in the description. So it will be in the top of the description for you guys. Uh, AIO is currently running a sale that will start on Black Friday, which is obviously Friday, and will end on Cyber Monday. And it is a 40% off sale. So with every purchase during that time period, you will save 40% off your order, which comes out to roughly $130 off your order of the bot, which, you know, is actually insane. You're basically getting a bot for almost half off because, you know, 40%, very close to 50, as you know, which is a great deal. And, you know, some of the features of this bot right now, currently, you know, we're in some tough times. So AIO rolled out a free update period where everyone who owns the bot no longer has to pay for their their key to be extended you know like for their update period currently it's free right now for a limited time and they also threw in their supreme extension which i already had actually but i'll show you guys right here it's right here the supreme extension this is normally a paid feature but a and b thought it was a great idea so they threw it in for free because, you know, we're stuck at home, ladies and gentlemen, so we got a bot. That's what we got to do. So they, they threw in free updates, and they threw in the free free Supreme Extension uh, for a limited time. So, you know, get it while you can so you guys can use that stuff, take advantage of it. Like I said, this Friday, Black Friday through Cyber Monday, is when they'll be having a 40% off sale on their website, which will save you about $130. If you happen to miss out, you know, you can always purchase the bot anytime. In the link in the description it's always in stock so you don't really have to worry about it but I mean you're passing up a 40% savings so if you're gonna get it I would get it during this period since you can save 40% so um let's get into a little bit right now obviously you know we have the main screen task billing proxies sensor harvester copped all that stuff we have this little logs button over here toggle this on and off it's for your task logs that will show you when like, you start a task, what it's doing, how far it's going through in the process, like telling when it's adding to cart, submitting checkout, and stuff like that. I always uh, leave my task logs on when I run, so that way I can see what's going on with my tasks, and I can identify something if it goes wrong, and I'm not just guessing. So you can toggle that on right there. We have done here the AIO monitor, which is their Shopify monitor that's built into the bot. Basically, you can have this open as a window, and it will show you everything that pops up into A and B Shopify monitor. And if you see, for example, something that drops that you want, like, for example, we got these vans right here. You can click create and run a task, and it will take your quick task profile from your settings and use it. And you click this, and it will start the task automatically and start to go to like towards checkout and try and check out. It's great for when stuff like shock drops and stuff like that. You can also set it per site. Like right here, you can toggle off all sites and select each Shopify site. You can monitor it with keywords and negative keywords. And then you just hit save and just leave this open and it'll, you know, you can go. So we have that. We have their cap solver right here. Obviously, you can add all your Gmails in. You can do a guest checkout or a guest solver. Add new. Obviously, you know, email, password, proxy. Pretty straightforward. We have your add new tab which is for tasks, start all tasks, stop all, delete all, and then mass edit link. I'm going to show you guys how to set up for a Shopify drop. For example, like if you're going to run Kith, 
Just find Kith. Use Guest. Count details. You know, use any of these proxies. You know, you can use Leaf, Notify, Hollow, Oculus, or Cookie DC. You know, your boy we're sponsored all of those. Shout out to the sponsors. You know, discount codes in the description for them. So we have all these. So I'm just gonna select Leaf. You can use your early link keywords and variant. You know, early link. You just paste it in right here. Your keywords, obviously. Uh, AMB's keywords are a little different than other bots. So like for today, we had the the Kobe Pro Tros. So for example, you could put that in as your your keywords that you would want. So you'd have Kobe and Pro Tro. And then you'd also be running the variation for Kobe and Bruce. And you'd also be running the variation for the skew. This would, the commas in A and B are more of like a, a or, or like I guess, and, not really an and, it's more of an or. So like go pick up Kobe, Kobe Pro Tro or Kobe Bruce or the skew. And then the and symbols are for like Kobe and Protro. So like it wants to pick up both of those together. So that way like it doesn't pick up, you know, obviously the wrong stuff. You can paste your negative keywords in here, which they put like, let me copy and paste it. Like that, you'd have white, grade school, GS, all that stuff. Minimum price you can put in. Uh, and then for modes, obviously we have boost, fast, and restock. You're going to want to run Boost for most Shopify sites since there is bot protection. Restock, you should only be running, obviously, on restocks. And Fast Mode should be ran, like, on sites without bot protection. And you know that they don't have any protection at all. Most of the time, on restocks, places will drop without bot protection. So you could also you could run Fast or Restock usually. But I mean, I would just stick with Restock because they have a mode for it. And then Sizes, you can put in your size in here. And if you hover over it, it'll tell you, see it says size, Shopify, multiple sizes allowed. Let's see if I can get the pop up again. Separated with an and symbol is allowed, random is allowed. So it'd be like seven and eight. Well, it's not typing. Seven and eight and nine. That would go for seven, eight, and nine. Or if I want to just run straight random, just random. Put it in there, select the billing. Put your delay. Delay, I would usually keep it around... 3000 ish for Shopify, and then you save it. Pops up right here. And then, you know, obviously for foot sites, it'd be very similar. You know, select your site, guest account, proxy list, PID, use normal, put your size in, and then you put the PID in here. For example, like today's was this. Hold on. So you'd put that in there. Select your billing, put your task delay. I also run around 3,000 on foot sites, and then you hit save. And then if you don't, you're gonna set up for a demand where like Adidas or Easy Supply. You go in here, waiting room, tick that on, guest, proxies, PID. Make sure you have it on Yeezy, because it's not a normal release, it's a Yeezy release. Put your PID in there, obviously billing, all that stuff. So, and then, you know, down here we have mass edit link. So if you have a, oh, select task. So if you have, like, if you're running keywords and all of a sudden, like, because you don't have the early link, you could be on here, you get the early link, click it, and then you can change it, paste it, go. And then click save and it'll change it. So obviously we know we have your billing tab here. So you can put all your billing in. Add new down here. You can delete them all. You can import and export. Then we have our proxies, obviously. You know, we're sponsored, so that's who we're using. Leaf, Notify, Hollow, Oculus, and Cookie DCs. You can add a new list down here. You can delete all of them. You can buy proxies. Buy, when you click the Buy Proxies button, it brings you to AMB's website where they sell proxies, and you can buy like their in-house proxies. You have your Sensor Harvester. Sensor Harvester is their form of cookies. Um... As you see, we have all the Adidas and foot sites, stuff like that. As of right now, you don't need to harvest cookies for foot sites because with Data Dome, you just don't need to. But for yeast supply and stuff like that, you still need to. So what you would do is you'd add sensor proxies in, save them, and then you can go right here and just click the Start button. A Google uh, tab will pop up, as you can see, and it will start harvesting, and then you can just like delete all the cookies or stop them. You can also import and then just click this delete button to delete them all as well. 
and then you have your cop tab. Your cop tab shows every item that you've bought with the bot. Mine's empty because I have a new key, so obviously, you know, I haven't haven't had anything with it. Um, but this will show you all your checkouts and stuff like that, which is kind of nice. You know, you can see your past checkouts and all that, all built into the bot. And then we have the settings here, which obviously your account info shows you all your stuff. Notifications are where you can put your Discord webhooks in and stuff like that. Your delays, PayPal, site accounts. You can select languages. And then we have this little question mark up here. This is where all their tutorials are in bot. You can uh, pull up their user manual. And then this shows all the little subcategories that you can go to. Um, and they have like release setup. Speaking of this... Uh, and B, one of their features they offer is top-notch support and release guides for all their releases. And if you ever have any questions, like their support will help you and all of that. Uh, as I mentioned before, you know, all updates are free with Supreme. So, you know, they'll help you with Supreme and stuff like that if you need help. And all of that. And honestly, you know, and B actually has a very, very good success rate. Uh, they have accumulated over 60,000 checkouts already in 2020, which is kind of crazy. You know, 60,000 is a huge number. Uh, they have lots of success with a low amount of users running, which is good. You always want a high user success ratio because that shows the bot works. And the devs are always constantly pushing updates, you know, updating stuff. Like, I'm in their Discord, and I get pinged multiple times a day having, you know, them posting an update or fixing something or something like that, which which is good because obviously you want your devs to be working on the bot to make it the best it can be because that which gives you that gives you the best chance that you can have to cop shoes on hyped and limited releases because you know that's what we do here. Uh, so the more updates, the better because that just shows they're active working devs. And then obviously you know the last little thing we have in here, I just thought I'd just you know, mention that right now. Uh, last little thing we have here is this little cart, and this is where you can buy add-on stuff. This will bring you to the, the website where you can purchase. Just You can uh, purchase a Supreme bot, like the Supreme extension, which, you know, right now is actually currently free for a limited time uh, due to the pandemic and stuff like that. They obviously give it to everyone for free, along with free updates for a limited time. So you don't need to purchase this right now. It's free. Um, but when the free period ends, you will have to purchase it if you want Supreme. Buy unlimited accounts here. You can buy an extra license. Updates is the same thing as the Supreme. Right now it's currently free, but this is where you would pay for like your six month renewal for updates and stuff like that. You can purchase their cook group, AIO Notify, proxies, and their servers are all right here. If you click on these links, it'll take you to the specific product pages and stuff like that. And overall, yeah, this bot has been working very well in 2020. It's had a really good success rate on foot sites. As you know, you know, foot sites have been difficult for most people now with the introduction of Data Dome, but they found ways to overcome it and make sure, you know, their users have success on foot sites. And it's one of the best bots you guys can get if you're looking to get into botting as a beginner, since it is always in stock and it's fairly cheap compared to, you know, some of the $6,000 bots that are on the market. Uh, this bot doesn't break your bank, but it allows you to still have success, like with the top tier bots. It, it holds its own. So if you're interested, you know, like I said, I'll leave a link in the description for you guys. And remember, this Friday, so Black Friday through Cyber Monday, they'll be running a 40% off sale. So if you want to pick it up this weekend, that's when I would do so, since you're going to be saving roughly $130 on your purchase. Plus, you get a bot, you know, that's doing very well this year. So, what do you, like, I don't know why you wouldn't. I would pick it up if I was you. But, yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial slash guide overview. If you guys need any help, you know, drop comments and stuff like that. Love you all. Burger out, boys.